here's some of the materials you're going to have. You've got a graduated cylinder that has water in it and a length of PVC pipe that will be sitting in the water. So by placing the PVC pipe in the water, I'm actually able to change the length of the tube. And this will be my resonator. Wait, what, how are you changing the length of the tube? So if I put the tube all the way down here, the water level's all the way up to here. Right. So now I have a short tube, oh. which means a short wavelength. Oh, so it ends where the water is? It ends where the water is. Oh. Yeah. So what does a short wavelength mean for the pitch? It's going to be higher. Higher frequency, higher pitch? Okay. Yeah. And a long wavelength? It's going to be a deeper. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is my resonator, which means I need something to be my driving frequency. That is going to be the tuning fork. Now, a few things on how to use the tuning fork. If you don't have a mallet, you can often use the heel of your shoe to tap it on, especially if you have nice um, thick sneakers. Please do not drop them or smack them on the table. That can actually dent them and change their pitch. Okay. So this is going to be my driving frequency. And I'm going to, once I strike that, put that over this, and then start moving both of them until I get resonance. How am I going to know when resonance happens? It's going to be louder. It's going to be louder. Shall we try it? We shall. All right. We'll see how the volume works on that thing. Very interesting. No, because that'll dampen it. Uh -huh. Whoa. Oh, did we hear that? We, yeah. we heard that. Oh, yeah. We heard the actual frequency. You want to find that place. You get really good resonance. And then I want to move, and you might need a partner for this. Move the rubber band to mark that location. Because then what I'll do is measure the length of the tube, the diameter of the tube, and the frequency of the sound. This works best if you found the fundamental. Now we know this is a C256, so we should get a pretty low C. Did it sound like we were getting the fundamental there rather than the overtone? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's harder with some of the shorter tuning forks. It can be harder, but that's why I'll also have pipes of different lengths. So you'll match them together with the you, appropriate tuning forks? So I won't have them matched, but because you have the, the time, you may get to mix and match and find some different ones that work better. Once you've got the diameter, the length of the tube, so that's where the water is in. <laughs> And the frequency, the lab seat will walk you through a calculation to find the speed of sound. Now, if it all works out, if you have the fundamental, the right length, and the diameter, now what value should you get for the speed of sound? I could not really understand that. 330 to 350. About 340 meters per second. Okay. Any questions about that? The water in the tube just acts, uh, just acts as a dampener or to shorten the length of the pipe. Right. It, so, it, it gives me a way to very easily change the length of the tube. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we can stop now.